Say when. I am recording. Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from uh, Today, Arkansas. <laughs> and together, the three of us, including you, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Thanks for joining us. Arkansas, what the heck is that about? Uh, I am in Arkansas on a business trip. Um, my company, after working at the plumbing company for 11 months, uh, decided to send me to plumbing school. So I'm actually at uh, the Ultimate Technician Academy. Uh, but you're not a plumber. I'm not. No, I, I'm not. So uh, we we were looking into some things to do for our apprentices to help kind of get them up to speed. And, and uh, this academy came up several times. People that have had great success, they send people here and are able to expedite the process of getting them into their own service truck. Um, and so I am. Uh, we, we wanted to send two of our apprentices here. Our company likes to send management chaperones um, on trips like this. It's a week long hmm. trip, um, and uh, and in addition to that, um, I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to learn some of the plumbing basics so that I have a better grip on uh, kind of interacting with my technicians. You know, sure. I've I've earned their trust and respect as far as uh, helping them to interact with their customers on the communication side, um, and so this will help me kind of better understand their world a little bit and. Um, be able to to also be able to call them on some of the BS when they they try to feed it to me. <laughs> so that good good experience. Not that they would ever do that. No, no not my guys. So yeah. I, I want to hear more about this, but let me explain where I am. Um, I don't think even on a personal call, I've never talked to you from here. Mm -mm. Um, I am I'm in the learning center. This is the the company where I work. And have worked for 16 years. This is uh, where I teach. I'm a trainer, and uh, not unlike you, where you're in uh, it, getting education, this is where I work. It, and I'm here late. It is uh, let's, again. We'll we'll uh, we'll destroy the myth of uh, Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. It's Tuesday evening. It's a little bit past 7 p.m. And I'm in the process of trying to record a video that uh, is for an organization that I'm a member of. And they asked if I could record this video for them, and I have to uh, to follow a ten page script. So I've uh, over the last couple of days cobbled together parts to build a teleprompter, and purchased a teleprompter app for my uh, my iPad. And it's cool because it, it then has a free app that you can put on your phone, so you can control the teleprompter oh, from smart. your phone. And uh, so the iPad lays flat. Um, and then there's an inclined piece of glass, and the camera is behind that, shining through it, mm. and the camera doesn't pick up any of the words on the screen. Now, I tweeted about this a little bit ago. I, I feel a little bit like Ron Burgundy, because, in fact, I'm, I'm reading along with the script that I even helped edit, and all of a sudden, I was completely tripped up by something that wasn't worded right. And, yeah. Uh, felt like a, like a dummy. But anyway, that's what I'm doing here uh, late, is trying to get that completed. So, and so, so neither of us are smoking right now. You're you're in a hotel room. I'm in a hotel room. Yeah, we just got. Uh, so being in Arkansas, it's a little bit after six here. Um, we just got out of class for the day, and um, I knew to meet your schedule. The last two nights, um, we've gone out to dinner uh, pretty late and stayed out um, just to, just hanging out. So um, to make sure that. Uh, with the hour time difference we were able to record tonight, uh, I told the guys, give me half an hour. I just need to sneak in and do something. So they, they think I'm pooping. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're actually you're, doing you're this. Not, you're not pooping? Cause, well, well. Don't, don't destroy the mystery. <laughs> don't destroy the mystery. Well, um, here, that, and and I'll, I'll explain. This is the one thing. One of these days, Apple or whoever makes phones is going to figure this out, and they're going to find a way to put the camera right behind the screen so I can look at you. Right now I'm looking at the stupid right. camera lens. Right now I'm looking at you. Yeah. And then if I look at myself, I'm way, way, way off in the other corner. Yeah. So i got to avoid looking at myself. Um, anyway, this is actually the reason why I built the teleprompter. I tried recording with that app with the, uh, the iPad just kind of propped up next to the camera. And I would have been okay 
if I could just keep my eye on the script the whole time. So like right now I'm looking at you. It's not unacceptable. You see shows where they're interviewing somebody and they're looking just a little bit off the right. camera. And that's okay, but my eyes keep wandering back to the lens. My face and my eyes, and that was so annoying. So and, so, I, and I'm doing I'm finding myself doing it right now. I was going to say so with with the teleprompter, are you going to be able to see your eye movement as you read? It's possible, but I'm standing about 15 feet back. So it won't be so bad. Okay, so, so to so minimize bad. that. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. In the end, it's all I can do. It, it's so much stuff that I have to talk about, and it has to be delivered. I have a little flexibility, but for the most part, the message has got to be verbatim. Yeah. So, I have anyway. just a little flexibility myself. <laughs> About 15%. Yeah. Uh, on a good day. So uh, has it been good, this training? Yeah. It's, uh, so uh, the two guys I'm with, um, we went with one other to a different training a couple weeks ago. That was more training on the sales side. Um, and this is more practical training. Uh, so th there's, there's some interesting things about it. Um, we've had opportunities so far to uh, solder, which, you know, my guys have done that quite a bit. Um, I actually was able to solder my very first joint ever. Um, we, had, we had to cut uh, copper piping into a six inch uh, square. We were, were making with um, 90 degree elbow joints and then soldering the whole thing. So here's, okay. you know, it's a little bit challenging to see, but. Hold that's on, that's, the, that, hold on, hold on. It's that, a that, looks, that, that doesn't look like a square. Yeah, right. So um, <laughs> once, did? once we had a square completed, we had to cut off one of the corners cut it, cut it off so that the corners were moved and then split in half and then hammered out it flat and then broken off in pieces so okay. uh, this is what what you're left with these are the pieces so you can see here is uh, the, the the elbow here's the flat piece flat piece and so what you're looking for is to make sure that the solder's actually gone all the way up into sure. the, the joint so uh, it's not pretty um, over here, you know, it's it's uh, it's messy, <laughs> but it was a good solder joint, um, which you know I'm pretty proud of. The very first time I've ever done that, I've done. I've Is talked, it really I've the before. first time? Well, I talked before. Shame I've on made, me. I've made I've made attempts at doing a soldering wire. Um, this is very different. Oh yeah. Um, because you got to heat different. up all the mass of the joint, both right. sides. Yeah. Right, it's very different, and and as I've documented before, I have not had great success in soldering wire. I understand the principle. <laughs> I understand that you're supposed to to heat the the uh, item, the metal, and then apply the solder to it, and the solder should should flow from there. Um, so you know, with, when soldering the, the elbow, he instructed us to heat the underside because that's where the mm -hmm. uh, that part has four connections, four pieces of pipe there. Right. So that's where the heat, really it's going to cause a heat sink if you're not doing that's that. Right. Heat's going to be drawn out to that. So heat that part, and, and if it's hot, heated, everything's it's going to hot. draw the solder up. Um, right. So you know that was yeah, really cool. Yeah, it's kind of magical, isn't it, the way everything flows when it's mm -hmm. when it's right? Um, the other thing that we, we've done is, uh, the other thing that I thought was very interesting, um, doing some stuff with electric uh, wiring um, have done some electric mapping, which uh, my guys kind of have a uh, hesitancy towards um, a lot of the guys because many plumbers don't do anything with electric electricity at all. Um, right. The point that he's making is, if you have a customer that wants to hook up a new disposal, you you should be able to know how to wire a hard line in to be able to hook that up. Hold um, on. If the line is already there from a previous disposal or new construction? No. So so let's say you go into your house, you don't have a disposal there, but you have a light switch that's a few feet away. They should be able to know how to attach a wire into that light switch and down in, in a line. Um, so, you know, normally we would have to call an electrician out to do that. Yeah, I would um, think so. You know, that, that's I one mean, of those points. So our I, company I could doesn't do, it, do that. I could do it in my kitchen, right? right. But uh, really, are they are they in North Carolina? Are they are, are plumbers permitted to put in new wiring, especially from a light switch? I don't know. I, I don't know if they are. And yeah, I think that's something worth checking out. Now, our company doesn't do it. 
Okay. Our company doesn't do it, um, but it's it's an interesting skill to learn. Um, sure. The, the better application, the place where it's shown a better application is he had us map out a diagram of the process, a wiring diagram, and then we got to play with wiring boards and actually work it out. So this this wire system goes from a uh, from your hot wire end to a um, security switch, from the switch to a secondary switch and a third third switch, which are then routed out to light bulbs. So basically, you have a main switch that shuts off everything. Mm -hmm. You have from there a switch that can toggle either one light or two lights, and the third light is on its own independent switch. So if that toggle is open, but the third switch is closed, nothing's lit. Right. So he has us go through this whole process, and after going through all of this and figuring out how this works, then he points out to us that this is the way that a electric water heater works. So it's actually the process that an electric water heater goes through when you have the switcher plate that has it has the exact same connections. What it's doing, it has an emergency shutoff. It has uh, if the emergency shutoff hasn't gone off, the power goes into a switch. That switch is going to turn on the upper heating element in your water heater, uh, mm -hmm. which heats the first, the top third of your water. And then once that uh, thermostat up there says, hey, the water's hot enough, then it switches to the other one, which is going to heat the lower two-thirds of your water, your lower element. And that one is the one that's constantly turning on and off, on and off, on and off. So most of the time with your water heater, it's the bottom heating element that's doing most of the work. Hmm. So... You know, for my guys, I think it was really, really eye-opening to see that, to, just to understand the electric circuitry part of it and how that directly applies to understanding the water heater. So um, I thought it was yeah. pretty cool. That is cool. That was pretty cool. So it's been well, good. I, just, I was just going to tell you when you were talking about wiring, most definitely if you've got electric electrical supply in place, plumbers can wire heaters. Plumbers should be able to wire garbage disposals. I'm just really curious as to how legit it is for them to run wires, you know, from some source. But that's that's for you to figure out, <laughs> you, yeah. you guys to to enforce. But I'd love to hear more about that because that's interesting. Yeah. So you've got yeah. an announcement, I believe, maybe. Well, I've I've recently made an announcement. You've made an just, announcement. Let's talk yeah, about yeah. it real quick. Yeah, we're we're two days into International Corn Cob Pipe Month, so that's yeah, and that's exciting for two reasons. People that are buying pipes, if they're in the U.S., can get free first class shipping, or if they're outside the U.S., can get half price shipping. They can find the the codes because I don't remember them. Hmm. <laughs> they can, they can find those codes in the description of the video that I posted. And I'll tell you what, just to make our life simple, I'm just going to link to that video in our in our doobly-doo. And the other part is the International Corn Cop Pipe Month video contest that, that we've done every year, which is, uh, I think, a lot of fun. And in that, uh, people have an opportunity to win some stuff. So, awesome. Yeah, so not, not exactly an announcement per se, unless people don't watch the Aristocop An announcement channel. about an announcement. Yeah. Exactly, and then uh, we also had we had a an announcement. Oh, that's the uh, that's the the third announcement. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So we are now officially less than a month away from the start of Tobacco Advent. So uh, we've we've danced around this a little bit and talked about that that was coming, but uh, right now I guess we're here to say if you're interested in participating, sharing a tobacco that you enjoy and you'd like us to try. Um, you're going to want to send that to us. Again, we'll put the description or the address in the description below. And uh, let's also, boy, share with them the tobaccos that we have smoked in the last couple of years. So I, I know for sure I've got a pretty good list from uh, that we shared last year. And yeah. I just need to update it with the, uh, the tobaccos we smoked last year. Not that we can't have duplication, but if it comes down to it and we've got extras, we're going to be sure we smoke the stuff we've never smoked before. Yeah. And if we use your tobacco, you're going to receive one of our um, commemorative cornaments, which three. is a smokable Christmas ornament. Um, and I think we already discussed this, that uh, 
while we love it that people participate in in uh, in force and that people like to send us a lot of stuff, our goal is to 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 limit it to two of those pipes per participant. Now, if a couple is uh, is interested in sending us four tobaccos, I think they're like Skipsy and Boone Tar, not, not to single them out, but they're both active on the in the YouTube pipe community. Right. Um, they could send four and, and win up to four uh, pipes. Would, wouldn't that seem fair? Yeah. I don't I care about fair, but I think we can do that. Uh, now there's pressure on Boontar and Skipsy. <laughs> that uh, was not intentional. Yeah. That was all about some Wenceslas. <laughs> I see what We've you We've already there. been there and done yeah. that. So. Um, yeah, and, and just... Just to be clear, you know, for those anyone that hasn't seen um, the tobacco advents in the last couple of years, last two years, um, something fun that we do: our videos. We post a video a day. We smoke a different tobacco every day, um, and the videos are usually five to seven minutes long. Um, talk about the tobacco briefly. Kind of usually have a, a question and give a response and answer, and uh, it's a lot of fun for us to get the opportunity to film those. Um, the feedback that we get from that is is incredible uh, because, yeah. uh, in fact, we had several people last year that they started making daily videos and they would discuss the question that we could ask that day. Um, yep. We love that. That, that was, was so cool. That was really cool. <laughs> um, and so, you know, when we say, hey, you can send us tobacco, we're not begging for tobacco. Um, uh, but, you know, um, it has been really interesting to receive some of the tobaccos that we've we've had the, the great opportunity to receive, because we've tried things, you know, uh, Dad uh, is a, a one trick pony sometimes and, and likes his lane one Q. And I'm, I'm an aromatic smoker and, and I'm a, I'm a, a Cavendish smoker. But right? we'll smoke any of it. So but make you're smoke exactly right. Uh, we tried like. tobaccos that I would never yeah. have tried. Some of which surprised me in, in a pleasant way. Um, so yeah, this has been, um, it, it was, it's been a good growth experience for us and a fun way for us to kind of give back to the community with, uh, you know, a little bit of a, a of a countdown to Christmas. Yeah. Hey, the, the other thing I wanted to mention too, for okay. people who didn't already know this, and I don't think it's too late to get in on this, but, uh, Jay announced his, um, uh, well, the YouTube pipe community, secret Santa, um, yeah. activity which is, again, wonderful because it's a way for people to share tobacco, to receive tobacco, but it also gives YouTube content creators something to talk about because yeah. you're going to receive a Yabo that you're, you're well, uh, receive a package that as part of the deal you're obligated to yeah. do a Yabo. And your stuff that you send to somebody will be received and, and, uh, and opened as a Yabo. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's a great way for us to get connected Again, once uh, once again, I don't think it's too late to get in on it. However, you you do have to have posted a video or videos at some point this year. It's too late to to to, to start shooting videos. The whole idea is this is an activity for members, active members of the YouTube Pipe community, which means people that turn their cameras on occasionally. Yeah, so, yeah. There, I remember there have been people in the past where. They have three videos, and the three videos are these videos. You know? Again, Jay, Jay doesn't care about that, but what he, what he doesn't want people doing is just jumping in to get free stuff. Yeah, that's right? what I mean. Uh, so. The only videos they have are, are videos from the three years of <laughs> free stuff getting. Yeah, yeah. well, anyway, so um, I absolutely support Jay's efforts in that, and uh, we'll, again, link to his announcement video, but get on that because, uh, like I say, I don't think there's a dead. There, of course, there's a deadline. I don't right. think we've hit that yet. Cool. So there's like 80 people already signed up. Oh yeah, yeah. I need to get. And on he that. said very few international people. Mm. So if you're outside the U.S., there's an opportunity for you too. It's not limited just to American pipe smokers. So. Cool. All right. Well, you know what? We should wrap this up. Yeah. Do we have a Do we have a question this week? No. Nope. Uh, you know what? We do have a question this week. Okay. I'm curious. For those of you who have already uh, entered the workforce, have you taken any courses this last year? And if so, courses in what? And was it good? You know, I'm teaching. Boy is learning. 
And, uh, you know, this is continuing education. Oh. In, whoa. In fact, the, uh, the script that I'm reading, yeah. and I put the wrong thing in my ear there, the script that uh, I'm reading you just, you, you has made, everything very, to do. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh-oh. Whoa. Jerry, Jerry, Lee Lewis. <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis. The script that I'm reading here tonight has everything to do with uh, continuing education. So it's kind of on the uh, for, 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 forefront of my brain. Mm. So uh, share with us. What did uh, what have, what have you learned this year? Okay. So with that, let's wrap it up, boy. Have a great evening, and uh, you, see you when you get back. When do you get back? Uh, early a.m. Saturday. Saturday, and then wow. all day Saturday will be at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, no rest. Well, you have fun with that. Uh, cool. So I guess yeah. I'll see you maybe Sunday. All right. Maybe, for the rest yeah. of you, make it a great week. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs>